welcome to RTC on Channel 4. I'm Abby Malko and here with me today is Dave Summers and he is one of the helpers involved with the Bulldog Run that happens during Fulton Fun Days. Hello Dave, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. It's uh, kind of a hot day out here, but uh, we're doing good. It is very hot, yes. Could you give us and the viewers some insight on the Bulldog Run? Okay, the Bulldog was set up, uh, this is the 13th, it was in is being ran in memory of Stephen Bruce Matice. He was an eighth grader at Caston. He was killed in a four-wheeler accident. And to keep his memory alive, his parents uh, were trying to figure a way that they could develop a scholarship, be able to raise some money, and to keep Stephen's memory there. And so that's what we did. We come up with that race during the Fulton Fun Days, and it is a 5K race. This, like I say, it'll be the 13th year for it. It's flat, it's fast, it's fun, and I encourage everybody to come and run in this. Well, that sounds like fantastic time. And where can you get registration forms for this? Well, we can, you can go online. Uh, we've put it on as a Facebook page as an event for public viewing. So you can find us that way. You can also pick up a race form at the Winning Edge, at the Wellness Center here in Rochester, or Immersion Marketing any of these places and uh, there will be a few other locations around. I don't know exactly for sure where, but uh, you'll be able to find us around and some of the local races will also still try to have the, uh, the race forms available. Well, that's great that there's many places to find registration forms. Does it cost anything to participate in this event? Yes, it does. Uh, we're asking $15 entry fee. Uh, the day of registration or the day of the race, it is a $20 entry fee. So it pays to get your registration in early. That also gets, guarantees you a T-shirt. And uh, this is one of them from a few years ago. Uh, the date, you know, 2001. So it's, uh, it's been around a while. But uh, it is a good, it's a great race. It's during, like I say, during Fulton Fun Days on August the 4th. We start at 8.30. We'll start registering uh, runners at about 7.15. So they can come and be there. And they've got time to register, get their number, uh, get their T-shirt, get warmed up, and be ready for the race. And if the weather continues, I'm sure it's going to be a very warm race. Just like it has been most of the summer, yes. From the registration fees, where do the proceeds go to for this race? Like I said, this is a scholarship race. And uh, since its inception, we were started out giving, I think the first year was a $300 scholarship. After that was $500. And the last, I guess, three years, we have given two $500 scholarships to a graduating senior from Caston. So we've had two kids for the last three years, so it, it's really been beneficial. We've had great sponsorship for this race. Incidentally, if anybody does want to sponsor, they can get a hold of Bruce Matice or myself. Uh, we'll be glad to uh, put their name on the back of the t-shirts and list them in the paper and such as sponsors. And uh, so all the sponsorships, all the entry fees go 100% to scholarships for a gra casting graduating senior. Well, that sounds fantastic. Not only do you keep the memory of that young boy alive, but you also get to help many casting students. So that's fantastic. It is. Uh, it makes a great day. It's a good kickoff to the start of Fulton Fun Days, where I think we're the first event that day. And then so people, a lot of times the runners will come and they'll stick around. There's a lot of good food. The parade is later on, as well as the other activities going on. So it just makes a nice start. And I know the uh, Fulton Lions always say, Dave, you're gonna, you guys are going to organize the race, right? And I say, yes, we are. We're going to have the race. And uh, it is going to be a good time. We'll be getting it marked here before long. And just to let people know, it starts at the town park, which uh, it's on Atkins Street. It's three blocks straight east of the blinker light in Fulton. You know, Fulton only has one blinker light, yeah. so uh, don't worry about a stoplight, but so it's not too hard to find. They turn and go east and uh, bring you right to the town park where we'll be at the pavilion registering people. And uh, it, the race will start there. The uh, Liberty Township Fire Department does a great job of blocking traffic for us because we'll head, re head west, uh, we'll come out to 25, go south, cross the bridge, go out on 100 uh, east, past the fertilizer plant, we go out, uh, make a U-turn, come back in, and then zigzag through Fulton. So the last half mile, you are in the shade of the trees in Fulton, and we get to see all of Fulton that way. And uh, we finish beside the pavilion. And uh, it is exactly 3.11 mile, or I always had it figured 3.1, and I have had two runners each the last two years with their Garmin watches said, Dave, this is the most exact race we've got, and we love this race because it's exact. It's paved, it's fast, and we can PR on this course. So uh, if you're wanting a, a personal record, if, and if you're a walker too, you know, we're going to have a one-mile one fun walk. Uh, there is a fee. There are no awards for it, 
but we do have that that we've got it marked so they can go out and come back and get a t-shirt and uh, be able to help support the scholarship fund as well so we'll accept all donations all contributions all money's possible to come in yes i'm begging um but we'd love to have some more runners too well, that is a perfect picture of the course, and I'm sure that people will love to come to Fulton Fun Days and participate in the race. And make sure that you stop out and help with the race and even come to Fulton Fun Days. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Happy very much.